Dr. Bones here, and hey, not there, over here. Although, you know what, buddy? That is pretty smart, having some mosquito netting because it is going to be a cruel, cruel summer for especially those in the Northeast. This video is about Asian tigers that you don't see at the zoo, if you're lucky, that is. If you're in the Northeast, this is going to be a cruel, cruel summer for mosquitoes. Actually, it'll be crueler for you than the mosquitoes. Experts now say that an aggressive invasive species called the Asian tiger mosquito is going to swarm the region. If you can call mosquitoes pretty, the Asian tiger mosquito is. It's got a black body with multiple white stripes. It looks a little bit like a tiger, I guess, if a tiger was black and white. Now, don't you just want to pet its little head? No, you don't. It's so tiny you'd need a magnifying glass to appreciate it by then it's already bitten you and gone on its merry way. The Asian tiger mosquito, originally from tropical Southeast Asia, is now found in 27 states, Europe, and South America, and of course Asia. It first arrived in this country in 1986 in a shipment of car tires. Now, it doesn't have to live in wetlands, unlike other mosquitoes, so it closely associates with human communities, and that is bad news. Most mosquito bites occur in dawn or dusk hours, but this species is active, continues to bite all day long, even in the middle of that barbecue that you're having. It's dangerous because it can transmit more than 20 diseases, including West Nile fever, St. Louis encephalitis, dengue fever, yellow fever, uh, malaria, gosh, and, and a number of others. Tiger mosquitoes are also transmitters of a parasitic roundworm that causes heartworm in dogs and cats. These things even bite birds. Now, according to the Global Invasive Species Database, the Asian tiger mosquito is one of the 100 world's most invasive species. The Asian tiger mosquito has a rapid bite that allows it to escape most attempts by people to swat it. Matter of fact, only female mosquitoes of, of this species and really any mosquito species bite. And that is because blood is necessary for the development of the female's eggs. The male primarily feeds on nectar, almost like a hummingbird if you think about it. The Asian tiger mosquito female lays her eggs near water, not directly into it as other mosquitoes do, but typically close to a stagnant pool. However, any open container with a little water will suffice for larval development, even a bottle cap with less than an ounce of water in it. It can also breed in running water, which is unusual for mosquitoes, so stagnant pools of water are not its only possible breeding sites. It has a short flight range. It spends its entire life within 175 yards of where it was born. So it's laying its eggs close by to where you were bitten. So how do mosquitoes find their prey. That's you, by the way. Well, carbon dioxide from exhaled breath attracts them. Organic substances produced by your skin, like fatty acids, ammonia, and lactic acid, humidity, and visual cues, especially dark colors and daylights, play important roles. Uh, Asian tiger mosquitoes are always on the search for a host, but unlike other mosquitoes, they're persistent but cautious when it comes to their blood meal. They're aggressive and skittish all at once and often break off things just before they get enough blood for the development of their eggs. That means that they have to go to multiple hosts to get the blood meal they need for their development. So that's why Asian tiger mosquitoes bite multiple hosts more than other mosquitoes do. This makes them particularly efficient at transmitting diseases. The fact that they bite different species, mammals, birds, and humans, enables the Asian tiger mosquito to be a vector for certain viruses and other disease-causing or organisms that jump species boundaries. West Nile virus is one of these. In part two of this video, we'll discuss why some people get bitten more than others and how to control the local mosquito population of your area. Now this is Joe Alton, MD, also known as Dr. Bones, wishing you good health in good times or bad. Don't forget our survival medicine handbook 
uh, our website at www.doomandbloom.net. Our Twitter is Prepper Show, and, and be friends with us on Facebook at Dr. Bones and Nurse Amy. Thanks so much. <laughs>